folks, we're here at Bright Bridge Farm Campground, and uh, as you can see, it's, uh, we're camped out here, and uh, we're just in the middle of having our breakfast and getting our act together. Um, we had a good night here. This is a this is a nice campsite, um, and uh, yeah. So just thought you could give you a little shot of uh, what we're doing this morning. It is breakfast time. You can see that we've got the everything all laid out here. Oh yeah, and that's right. There's Nigel. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so you know, as is as is typical on summer mornings um, when you're camping, uh, everything is covered in dew. Everything is soaked. You can see the chair is soaked, the bike is soaked, the tents are soaked, the tabletop is soaked, everything is soaked. But hey, you know, we're making it do because that's what we do because you know that's uh, that's that's part of the adventure all right okay just thought i'd share our morning a little bit of our morning with you right. so we are just about on our way out of the uh bridgewater campground uh, and this is their uh bathroom and shower facility it's quite nice very clean as you can see uh fantastic and they've got all the proper waste disposal situation going on here and uh, we were just talking to Ant, the uh, the proprietor here, and he uh, wished us well and gave us some advice going down the road, added value. So, um, yeah, good water campground. Come out this way, you might want to stay here. It's going with red. <laughs> oh, God. So that means it's like 10 plus percent. Yeah. Well, like Maybe I said. It's not 10 plus percent all the way, you know that it's going to be yellow. Yeah. Yeah, well, like I said, you know, it's maybe it's better you have a GPS that doesn't tell you the elevation, yeah. doesn't tell you what's coming. I'm not sure if I want to see it coming. Sorry for the wind noise. I didn't put on my uh, lapel mic yet, but uh, here's the turn off to Stibbs Cross and Milton Damerol and all the places north and east. So, yeah, looks like we've got level here. Put my lapel mic on. Big difference, I'm sure. So, yeah. I'm just going to Molten... I don't know, what do they call it? Jeez, I can't even see it now. Stibbs Cross. Yep. And uh, places northeast. So, that's that. That's the way it goes. Isn't this nice? These guys are stopping for the bicycles. Beautiful. Thanks, guys. And there we go. Another beautiful morning. Uh, just couldn't ask for anything better than this. It's nice and cool, fresh. Uh, I've got a light long sleeve uh, uh, shirt on here. My top that I bought in Pinedale for 40 bucks, the Under Armour. Uh, yeah, nice and sheer, just enough to provide a little bit of insulation. Very nice. Um, bit of a headwind, but that's okay. Uh, just looking at, you know, just wall-to-wall -wall sunshine. There's not a cloud in the sky. Yep, I'm taking it. And uh, so I think South Torrington or something is uh, first place, first port of call today. Stop there, get some breakfast. Look at some maps, look around, see where we are, and just enjoy being out here. that lovely country lane. Well, I'm sure there'll be much more of that to come. Right now we're on the A388 or A386. The writing on this uh, GPS tracker that I'm using uh, is uh, 
you know, not big. You can't zoom it out or anything. Every time you zoom it out, the writing just stays the same size. Uh, but I don't know. I don't think I mentioned this before, but the uh, I'm using the GPS tracker. So it's, an, it's a free uh, app. <clears throat> and it allows you to load in GPS files uh, and without having to pay a subscription for any particular service or you know, get a dedicated GPS app when you buy the Wahoo or Garmin uh, cycle computer. Uh, it seems to be working out well. Uh, it looks like it uses Apple Maps and that's fine. Um, you don't get a whole lot of information. You certainly don't get things like altitude uh, or uh, elevation profiles, but that's all right. I can always switch over to Google Maps uh, and uh, yeah, I can also always switch over to Google Maps and get the elevation profile there. But uh, now this is good and it's free. Uh, yeah. Oh God. Oh, did I mention we're climbing a hill now? Uh, yeah. The Google Maps. Sorry. Apparently, Google Maps will allow you to read in GPX files, but for some reason, you can't use the app. You have to use uh, the online version. So, uh, and every time I on my iPhone. I go to open up Google Maps, the web version, web-based, it takes me to the app and it just doesn't allow me to load in GPX files. So, short of actually not being so cheap and paying for a subscription with Komoot or Ride with GPS or whatever, uh, you know, I'll use the free GPS tracker as long as I can get my hands on GPX files. Anyways, uh, are, we, are we topping out here? Maybe, maybe not. Uh, coming up to another one of these convex mirrors. And if you look to the left, you can should I see me. There we go. There I am. There we go. That's it. Oh. I know you've seen this pretty much every day since starting this, but just this is a this is an A road, so this is a very busy highway. Um, typical Monday morning, uh, but uh, that's fine. Roads in decent shape, but look at the head roads on this on the left here. There's like zero margin for error. Nigel just told me this hill we cut coming up here is going to be 16%. See, that's what happens when you have these GPS units; they tell you about it. And uh, I'm not sure if I want to know. It's just a hill. And it takes what it takes.
morning. Oh, looks like we're topping out on another really steep pitch. I can't remember the last time. I don't think there has, ever has been a time when I've had to use my absolute lowest gear to uh, get up some of these hills. I don't know if it's me who's getting older or if it's uh, these pitches and I'm just not used to it. I'm kind of thinking it's the latter, but you know, oh. who knows? It could be, could be the former. And here we are. So, and I'm thinking what you can see down below there is Torrington. Uh, I think that's what the locals call it because that's what's on all the uh, navigation signs around here. Yeah. So it looks like a nice drop into Torrington, and we'll have breakfast, our second breakfast there. All right, we'll see you in Torrington. On your right. Hi there. Whoa. Okay, yep. Sorry. Well, that was different. It's Taddy Port, I think that's what they call this. But uh, yeah, so it looks like we go through this little enclave of houses and narrow streets, as is often the case. And we cross a river, and we will be in Torrington. All right. And here's the river, whoa! Looks like this is another one of those 5,000 year old bridges, and that's all good. As long as it holds me up. It looks like we've got another big, big climb to do up into Torrington. Okay. <clears throat> Here comes Nigel. Yeah, we're just uh, coming into Great Torrington after a long, long ride up a steep, steep hill from 
whatever tatty dock or whatever whatever it was down there but we're not down there anymore we're right here and there's Nigel hot, hot very hot yep it's okay breakfast is coming so we've decided to try out the place called Market Cafe Apparently it's along here somewhere. Where is the Market Cafe? I think it's... Yeah, I think we may make the next right up here. Looks like it's kind of to the right somewhere. Yeah. Oops. Yeah, I don't know, maybe in here somewhere. Uh, yeah, looks like it. Okay. Oh, excuse us. Thank you. All right. Here we go. Excuse us. Thank you. Oh, here we are. Okay. And there's the market cafe. Oops. Yeah. yeah. All right. Thank you. Here, I'll just go up in front of you here. Oh, so, That's good photo. Okay. so we just finished breakfast at the Market Cafe here in Torrington or Great Torrington. And it's about noon and it's time to head back out onto the road. So that's what we're doing. All right. I guess we're going towards Exeter and Barnstable and Oakhampton and all of that. All right, there we go. Holy smokes. Ow. Quite the view. And this is quite, quite the drop. Oh man, it's another 20 percenter at least. Oh look, and goes right up back up the other side. How nice. Oh. Whoa. guys traveling so close when you're climbing these hills uh, it's not helping but it is beautiful out here absolutely yeah anyways time to crack on as Nigel will say
road stayed up here all day. Just fine. But no, I think we are going to be descending very shortly down to a river crossing of sorts. Or is it a highway crossing? One or the other. Looks like we're going down. Just kind of love this countryside. So Nigel and I just uh, left South Moulton and uh, we are headed for the house farm and campsite and that is just south I'm gonna say southeast of Withy Pool and uh, yeah so Google Maps is telling us right now it's about an hour and a half ride and uh, it's gonna take us up into Exmoor. And uh, as you can see, we have left all that farmland. Uh, I don't know for how long, but it's nice to be in this uh, forested valley. Uh, with any luck, we'll follow the river that's just to the left of us. And uh, we won't have to do much climbing, but according to the elevation profile on Nigel's GPS. Yeah, we got some elevation. So, it is what it is. Looks like we'll get be able to get off a 75 to 80k day. Again, not as, I guess, not as far as I was hoping to get, but you know what, it is what it is. It's not like I'm keeping him back and he's keeping me back. It's just, just the way it is. You know, you get into a couple of towns, you you know, stop for lunch. Uh, you want to get to a campground around 5, 5.30. Um, yeah. So it just is what it is. But again, as with, you know, the, every day since leaving Land's End, there's been a lot of climbing. Uh, and I'm not, I don't think the climbing is, or the downhills are making up for the uphills. So it's slower. And uh, not as far as we'd like to go but you know if it takes us longer to get there it takes us longer to get there for now we are headed to uh, the house farm campsite by a witty spoon and through Exmoor all right we'll see you up the road we're just about topped out on this climb coming up through uh, north of North Moulton which is north of South Moulton ah and uh, I think we've been climbing for Good steady 45 minutes non-stop. Uh, and so this is where we are. Uh, absolutely magnificent. And we are high up, as you can see. Uh, as for uh, as for kind of being out of farmland and into the forests, well, that kind of ended, I don't know, about 45 minutes ago, <laughs> back down this hill. So Nigel is uh, soldiering on, he's directly behind me, and uh, I'm sure he'll catch up any time now. Um, but that's that, so we're just about at the top, and uh, yeah, and uh, from the top we would go down, hopefully down and not down and up and down and up to um, Witty Pool. Yep, and then campground after that. Anyways, that's that, just wanted to show you where I, wore, where I was, where I am, uh, and hey, more climbing to go. Hey man, so how did that go? Uh, <laughs> that was a long climb. Yeah, oops, oh, we got this little guy in the way here. Oh, no. All right, sorry about that guys. Yeah, so that was... Um, 2.67 miles long. That was GDMBR length. Yeah. Yeah, that was uh, 
right up there. But I think we've topped out here. I think we are. Yeah, we have. Yeah. Need to be proud of yourself. Good on you, buddy. All right. Okay, we are going to the campsite and through Withy Pool. Now, according to Nigel, this is moorland. You can see it looks kind of like a prairie grassland. Uh, I'm not sure if it's a wasteland or just an area that they've decided not to, not to farm, not to cultivate. Of course, you can see in the distance that there's lots of cultivated land at this elevation. But uh, I guess this is uh, this is Exmoor, uh, and it's uh, quite spectacular up here. The uh, you can see for miles and miles, or kilometers and kilometers, as you can see. And uh, it's peaceful. There's hardly anybody up here, except for farmers and the occasional five or six million sheep. Um, yep. So that's where we is. And Withy Pool should be, I think, in probably down there. So, or it could be down there. Let's see what Google Maps has to say. Uh, yeah, well, it's neither. It's probably further than any of those places. Oops. Here comes the car. Stay on the left. Okay, I think we've got Willy Pool, Willy Pool, <laughs> Willy Pool dead ahead. Wow, how iconic is that? Very cool. as you can on this particular road on Exmoor because as you can see almost all the way around 360 degrees is nothing but down there you go it's absolutely magnificent up here and a little cooler but that's fine we're not very far from our campground. Uh, and Google Maps has crapped out on me because I've lost, I've lost signal up here. I've lost connection, whatever you want to call it. But hey, it's all good. And hey, look, imagine that. There comes Nigel. I think we're done climbing for the day. It looks like there's some sort of Karen over there, but uh, given that it's after six already, we're probably not going to stop. We're probably not going to stop. And uh, yeah, we're going to continue on. Now, I've lost, I've lost access to Google Maps, but my understanding from my last uh, recollection is that we make a left turn somewhere down here. So. And I'm hoping that once we go down the other side here, we'll get uh, data again. Do you have, you got a signal? Okay. Yeah. Good for you. All right. We're going to rely on Nigel to get us to the campground. Okay. All right. Uh, I'm not sure, but I think we've arrived at our campground. Yeah, here we are. Uh, yeah, Hulse, Hulse Farm Touring and caravan tent park look at how excited Nigel is he can hardly wait to set up his tent 
and have a beer. Whoops. Okay. Well. Hi guys. Yeah, I need to oil my brakes. All right, here we go. This is it. Baby changing. And so that would be down, down at the bottom of the hill. <laughs> no, it's all right. Nice, we get to ride down to the bottom of a hill, only to have to climb to the top of the hill. Go sign in, pay our dues, and go get ourselves a campground or campsite. Well, we did. Hello, everybody. So, yeah, um, made it to the um, was it the House Farm campsite. I had to read this off of my iPhone because I couldn't remember because I can never remember these places. But anyways, uh, so Nigel and I made it here. We're about 76k into the day. It was another. It was a. It was. It was a nice. It was a beautiful day. It was. I mean, the weather was absolutely perfect. Um, you know, uh, no headwind. No, not much of a tailwind. Uh, but uh, just a lot of just more roly-poly up and down up and down with some so some really serious grades again i think two of the grades were 20 percent um so there was that and as a result you know it just made for a made for just a you know a, a day that uh, you know much less than the 100 kilometers per day that i was hoping to do but uh, my understanding is that uh, after we're finished here in Exmoor and start heading towards Bristol, that things are going to um, things are going to flatten out a little bit, and then once we get uh, the other side of Bristol up towards Scotland, things will be flat -ter. Um Also, the fact that we've uh, we've got our touring legs um, under us now um, means that we'll probably be able to go a little bit longer. And uh, yeah, but. So right now we are in um, Exmoor National Park, and if you look around here, like I showed you at the beginning of the clip, um, you can see that it's absolutely beautiful here. Um, sort of, sort of an exaggerated version of uh, what it was like in Cornwall, with all of the, uh, the beautiful hillsides, uh, you know, covered with uh, ranch lands and, and uh, agriculture, um, as is typical here in the UK. Um, but you know we're we're quite high. We're about uh, I would say we're probably around 500 meters above sea level, and for for the UK that's that's pretty high. Uh, but uh, yeah, so got here, set up, plenty of time. You can see that it's really nice. Um, you can see also that there looks like there may be some weather coming in here. I'm not sure if that's just you know clouds or fogginess or whatever it is off the uh, off the ocean, which isn't that far away, or if it's an actual weather system coming in here. But regardless, uh, I think we're prepared for it. Um, yep. Yeah. So this is a really nice campground. Um, here, I'll show you here. Yeah. So the proprietor was very very nice. Uh, cost us about 10 pounds each to camp here which is okay again you can see that there are no no picnic benches um, which seems to be ubiquitous uh, so far anyways in the UK uh, picnic benches would be really nice for us cyclists because it gives us a place to lean our bikes against and 
a place to uh, sort of unload our, all of our gear and, and, and cook. So, but you know, it, uh, we take it as it comes and uh, having a great time, having a great time, really enjoying it out here. Uh, and you can probably hear the, uh, the, <laughs> the lambs and the ewes out in the fields here, um, I guess letting us know that they're here. Um, yeah, so, so that's about it. I just wanted to sort of share with you where, where we are today and uh, um, the kind of day that we had. And uh, so tomorrow's plan is to try and get as close to Bristol as we can, if not the other side, but I don't think so. Probably around the Bristol area. We'll see. We'll see. Um, because things are taking longer than I had anticipated, um, there's a possibility that I may have to uh, extend my stay here. Um, I'm, I was thinking originally it would be two weeks to do this ride. I'm thinking more like three. And if that's the case, then, uh, you know, I'm cutting it pretty tight, getting back to Bolney and uh, maybe getting up into London to see London for a day or two. So, uh, you know, we'll see how that goes. But, uh, you know, I've got that in my back pocket. And, uh, yeah, so that's the deal.